Hey guys, it's Kayla and for today's video I'm gonna do my June favorites and all the stuff I've been loving this June. So I'm just gonna get right into it so it's just not a very boring video, me just talking. But I'm just gonna start off with like my skincare and my face. The first product that I use is these triple action cleansing waters and they're by the Sephora brand. One has like, you could get one with like a pump or something. So this one has like a pump, oh wrong one. This one has like a pump where you put like um, a flat, what are those called? cleansing pad or whatever and you go squirt it squirt it and then it goes into there this one is $22 and this one is 11 I think and if you get this one it doesn't have the little pump but it has one of those clicky thingies that you just pour it on there but I don't like this one a lot so I have the bigger bottle and then that's like after I go take a shower and like get out of the shower I use the cleansing water first and then I put the well I'll put the lotion usually, but after that, I would put in my little creams. These are the retinol creams, and I use these to get rid of my acne. I used to have, like, hyperpigmentation here and here and, like, everywhere on my face, and I just would hate it. So, some girl on YouTube recommended this, and I would like to thank her. I don't even remember what her username was, but this saved my life, literally. Um, I have the one in .05 and the really strong one, which is the .1. I would suggest you start up with the 0 .05, then the 0 .1, because this one is really strong. But if you want a full skin routine and like how I got rid of my acne video, just thumbs up this video or comment down below if you want to see a video like that. So I use that and then the lotion. I would wait like 15 minutes for this to dry and then put the lotion on. This one's pretty cool because you... It gets rid of the dark spots and everything on your face, so it helps with the hyperpigmentation and acne scars and all that stuff. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But it just helps with the acne and everything, and I really like those three products. And I've been loving the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Foundation. One of them has a pump. This is a... Well, let me check over here. A little makeup stash <laughs> this one is from my studio fix foundation I took the pump off but you can buy the pump separately from Mac and I have this in the color 228 for my summer shade this is a really nice foundation I like this because it makes my skin really matte and it stays on all day without it having to crease and I've been using this one and for my like normal color I have the lighter version but for a high-end foundation I've been using the Tarte Amazonian clay full coverage foundation and it comes in this really cute packaging with like a bamboo uh, top and everything and this is approximately the same color as this one but this one you can use with a beauty blender like a wet beauty blender and put it all over your face I want to use a brush with this I've been really liking the Hoola benefit bronzer wow it's really dusty but this is the shade. It looks like NYC's Sunny. I'm going to cover the mirror because you can see it. But this looks like NYC's Sunny Bronzer. And I like this one because it's really matte and pigmented. And I use it to contour my face here, here, and sometimes on my forehead. It is almost about to hit pan. Well, it doesn't look like it's hitting pan, but it's almost there. And I try not to use this this one. And much. for makeup palettes, or I've been really liking this Too Faced chocolate bar palette this is the first chocolate bar palette and when you open it you see this big mirror sorry I don't want the reflection to do that and you get a bunch of shades and they're like very versatile and you can see and like do like a lot of different looks with this and it smells like chocolate it smells really good but I also kept the little plastic thing that tells you what the shades are because you know um your girl can't remember all those shades. And for like tools and everything, I've been loving the Anastasia. These look slanted. Oh my god, did I step on these? But the Anastasia scissors and the Anastasia tweezers. So if I want to pluck my eyebrows, I would use these. And put like eyelashes on, I would definitely use these as well because they're very precise and everything. And these I would use to like cut my lashes. Oh, and back to lashes. I really, really like these lashes. The Wispy Black Ardell Lashes um, 
and they're really nice because they really make your eyes look full and very natural it's not crazy or anything or not too crazy but you can wear them in the daytime and in the nighttime so I like these a lot I would highly recommend this this is the uh, Rimmel wake me up anti-fatigue effect radiant glow uh concealer and this is based in the uk but then they came to the united states and i got a shade that's about three shades lighter and i put this like right here under my eyes to really brighten it up and on the bridge of my nose i've been really liking this as a replacement for my nars the nars one which i don't even know what it's called here it is the nars two hours later Radiant Creamy Concealer. Like, this is a good dupe for it. For scents, I've been really loving the Bombshell in a Bloom by Victoria's Secret. This smells so good. I got the little travel size one because, one, it, the big one's not going to fit in my bag. And I probably wouldn't finish it all, but this one smells good. It just smells like flowers and, like, makes you smell really, really fresh. And those are my June favorites. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, you can go give it a thumbs up and... Comment below what your favorite product for June is. I would love to know. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. And those are my January fave. <laughs> it's not January, Kayla. It's not January. <laughs> the product that I use is the... I'm gonna let my phone ring.